So, ladies and gentlemen, in this example, basically what I wanted to um, go over with you because what we will be doing is doing some expressions. We will do some basic ones with numbers, but we've kind of already done um, adding, subtracting, multiply, dividing roots with numbers. We're also going to get into uh, using variables as well. So the main important thing is we want to do is knowing how to break down a problem into prime factorization. And the easiest way to do this is at least to get started with the factoring tree, which you guys hopefully have got started since about sixth grade or so forth. So one of the things you guys can do is just break down 32 by saying two factors that multiply to give you 32. Now, obviously, um, the uh, kind of the the larger the t kind of factors you can get, usually the better. You can know usually if it's even, you know, you can always divide by two. Um, but obviously, we always want to see if we can find higher factors than that. So I decided to choose 8 times 4. Obviously, if you did 16 times 2, you'd still get the same answer. And then each of these factors, we keep on breaking them down until we get to prime numbers. So 8, I can break down into 4 times 2. And 4, I can break down into 2 times 2. And this 4, I can break down into 2 times 2. Um, x to the fourth. x to the fourth can be broken down into x squared times x squared. Right, x squared times x squared, add the powers. And then I can break that down into x times x. And this I can break down to x times x. And then obviously the y, I can break down to y times y. Okay? So now you guys can see that I have all of these prime numbers. Okay? So now, sorry. Now, I simply just rewrite the product of all the prime numbers, and this is going to be your prime factorization. So this is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x times x times x times y times y. And that is the prime factorization of that term.